guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little different. I hope you enjoy and I will see you at the end. So hey guys, so first we're gonna just um, moisturize your face and then I'm gonna take this uh, Too Faced uh, 24 hour pri eye primer and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelids because that's what you need to do to make sure that your eyeshadow stays on there. And then I'm going to go into my eyebrows. Um, I don't do a lot for my eyebrows. I just basically brush them where I need, where they need to go. And then I just kind of fill them in. I just like them to be filled in a little bit because it's a little patchy. I'm just going to fill it in, you know, not too harsh because that makes my eyebrows like, wow, you have eyebrows just because like they're really dark. Uh, next, um, I'm taking this flat brush for concealer, and I got some concealer, and I'm just putting it um, where my eyebrows are to carve them out, even though I don't really need them carved, but whatever. Next, I'm taking this MAC powder, and nothing too fancy, just enough to get the concealer, you know, matte. And I'm just taking a random brush and uh, just putting that all over where I put the concealer. And I'm just going to put that all over where I put the eye primer as well. Next I'm taking this Berries eyeshadow palette and I'm taking the color Toffee. And um, that's going to be my base color. Kind of just, you know, make it transition into a, what I going for. Warmer tones, um, nothing too dramatic though, but just enough to make it like, oh, I know where I'm going with that. I don't really know what to do. And it's not too um, fancy or it's not very pigmented. It's just very light and um, easy to like just go in with a little bit of a darker tone. I'm just going that with kind of the crease and the edges of my um, eyelid. This is the concealer I'm using. It's just a simple thing. And again, the flat brush. I'm using this to cut my crease. Um, the thing with like um, the palettes I'm using uh, for the like the shinier uh, colors is that they're not very pigmented and so like I like to cut a little bit of my crease to make them stand out. I use like really cheap drugstore palettes and stuff or stuff from Amazon so I know it's not very helpful but I just use it and again I'm just taking um, my MAC powder and putting that over the concealer. I'm taking uh, this glow uh, color from the Berries eyeshadow palette that I got from Amazon and I'm just putting that on um, where I just cut my crease for glitter and shiny things because I am obsessed with glitter. but, um, and I'm just putting this on there. I got this palette from Amazon, so it's not like the actual thing, it's a knockoff, but whatever. Now I'm taking this e.l.f. Uh, primer to prime my face. I'm taking this Revlon foundation and I'm just squirting it on my face because I'm basic. And now I'm taking my beauty blender and just blending it, blending, blending all over my face. I know everyone knows how to do this, so it's not very new and unique or whatever, but I'm just showing you how I put on my foundation. I don't normally do put it on like this. I normally just squirt some on my hand and then, you know, take the sponge and dip it and then put it on there. But today I'm being extra. I'm now taking my uh, concealer and I'm putting it under my eye in a triangle or shape thingy because that's how you put on concealer. And again, you probably know how to do this. It's just boring old news. Now I'm just putting it um, on the center of my nose and a little bit in between my eyebrows um, just to highlight it a little bit. 
Um, I'm putting my eyebrows because I normally have acne there. Now I'm taking this e.l.f. Uh, translucent powder and I'm just putting it all over my face just to, you know, mattify my whole face with this fluffy, fluffy brush. I don't know where I got my brush, but it, whatever. Um, now I'm taking this uh, NYX uh, setting spray and I'm spraying it all over my face. And now I'm taking this Kat Von D Locket translucent powder where I'm just going to be attempting to bake my face. I just got this powder, so I'm just trying to try it out and see what baking really is, but I'm struggling with this brush. I recommend using a beauty blender or something else that will really pack it in. I'm taking this like kind of a, a little bit thicker than the brush I use for the glitter and I'm putting it under my um, eyes and yeah, that's that. Um, sorry, I couldn't get it on camera. I'm really bad at this. Now I'm taking this eyeliner uh, from Wet n Wild. I do a wing, um, just a subtle little wing. I'm struggling right now, obviously you can see that. Um, but yeah, I just kind of like follow where I put my eyeshadow, and um, I've been doing wings for a while. Everyone asks me, how do you do your wings so perfectly? It, practice, 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 practice. And you know, getting um, the right product for you is also a key element for a quote unquote perfect wing. But I didn't like how that wing came out, so what I'm doing is taking a Q-tip and I'm erasing it with a Q-tip. But yeah, this is how I do mess up. I am not perfect. I cannot always get a perfect wing. So I just take Q-tips and just erase and then redo. Sometimes it takes the eyeshadow off a little bit, but that's why you gotta be careful. Um, normally I just go over it again so it doesn't really show up as much. And now I'm taking this e.l.f. Uh, contouring bronzer palette thingy. Um, it has a blush and a contouring thing in there. Um, and I'm taking kind of like a thicker brush here and I'm putting it under my cheekbone. And this is a bronzer. It gives you a little bit of color. Um, and I also just put it over my forehead a little bit and under my jawbone. Now I'm taking this NYX Wonder Stick. It has a bronzer and highlighting side. So I'm taking the contouring <laughs> and I'm putting it on kind of like where I put the bronzer at and a little bit on my forehead and just a tad, tad, a tad under my jawbone just to give it that little oomph. <clears throat> so, and then I'm also putting it a little bit on my nose and um, to make it a little smaller because I think I have kind of a thicker nose, I'd say. I don't have a big nose, but I have a thicker one. Now I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm just blending that because if there's no blending, goodness, you're a mess. Using the dabbing technique is also important because then it's just gonna smear or go away and that's not good. You actually want it to show up. Now this looks crazy right now, but um, again, blending, blending, blending is very, very important. Now I'm taking the uh, highlighting part of the stick. And I'm just, you know, carving out where I didn't want the bronzer slash contour. And I'm cutting that out and then blending again with the beauty blender. And I'm taking the same uh, Kat Von D Locket translucent powder and I'm just putting it where I just put the highlighting stick to make it a little more oomphy. I don't know, set it as well. I'm taking this Revlon number no. seven blush. I don't use a whole lot of blush just to make it, you know, kind of even out with the bronzer. And I'm taking this anesthetic uh, the highlighter and this random highlighting brush that's actually a bronzer a contouring brush but I use it anyway and I'm just setting spray on it and then dip it in the highlighter and boom I'm going to town I put setting spray on there just to give it a little bit more of a shine again I'm cheap and so this isn't the best highlighter but a little setting spray can go a long way now I'm taking this flat uh, brush and I put it in the highlighter as well and I'm putting it on the uh, roof of my nose or whatever that part of my nose is called and the little tip of my nose. I'm also putting it um, 
over under my eyebrow where there's no color. I'm also taking this highlighting brush I use and I'm just putting it over my lips and taking the other highlighting brush and putting it in the inner corners of my eyes. So now I'm taking the setting spray and setting my face. And now I'm taking this mascara. I can't see what it's called right now, but I'm taking this green one and putting that on my eyelashes. I don't use false lashes because honestly I don't need it I don't think and I just suck at life and I cannot put lashes on to save my life. Hate them. So this is also a good way to like just use your natural eyelashes. I also like to put the setting spray on first before I do my mascara because sometimes the mascara can run from the setting spray because it's wet and I don't like that. So I put the green one on and then I put the purple one on. Just the, the purple is just kind of another oomph, you know? That doesn't make any sense, but I think it makes sense, so we're going with that. And I'm taking the green one to do my lower lashes. And there you go. And now for lipstick. Um, I got this lipstick at Sephora for like a birthday gift thingy majigger they have. But it's basically this nude pinkish kind of a color. And um, this is the lip liner. I don't really like the darkness so I got this NYX matte lipstick lip gloss thingy and I just it lights it up. I just use it for like if I have a really really dark lipstick and I don't want it that dark. This makes it a little bit lighter. My lips are chap as heck. I suck at life. But this is the look. Um, yeah, if you like it, um, I'm glad. I think this came out very well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I know I did. I'm sorry that this is a little different, but I thought, why not try it out? If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, if you like this video, go give it a thumbs up. This week's shout out goes to... Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.